Rosh Hashanah is the judgment day of the world. Hayoyim haras elom, hayoyim yamid b'mishpot kol yitzurei elomim. Why does HaKadosh Baruch Hu judge the world on the anniversary of its creation? In fact, why are we judged the first day of the new year? We should be judged over the past mitzvahs, averes, misdeeds of the previous year. Why in Rosh Hashanah is there no Ashamnu, no Alchet? Where's the tshuva on Rosh Hashanah? The only birthday in the world that's recorded in the Torah is the birthday of Parai, Yom who led us as Parai. And on that day, he judged his realm. Parai thought he was a deity. He thought he created Mitzrayim and the Nilus. So on that day, the anniversary of his Malucha, he judged the world. The Sara Oifim he hung, the Sara Mashkim he reinstated. And the question is why? The Avera of the Oifim paled in comparison to the Mashkim. Sara Oifim baked a thousand loaves of bread, and at Tzolochus in one loaf there was a pebble. And in Pare's pastrami sandwich, in that slice there was a pebble. An insignificant Avera, transgression. Sar HaMashkim was derelict in his duty. He's supposed to be using the ostrich plumes to fan the flies away from Paray, and he's distracted, he's texting, he's emailing, and a fly falls into Paray's personal cup, and then he drinks it, and the fly is doing the back float in his mouth. So why in the world is the Sar HaMashkim reinstated and the Sar HaIfim hung? It has nothing to do with the heinous crime of the past. It's all about the future. Who does Paray need for the realm? Oifim, there were a thousand bakers. Mashkim, nobody could make that elixir like the wine of the Sara Mashkim. Hashem judges us by Sherushan. What are we going to accomplish for next year? It has nothing to do with the past. There's no tshuva, there's no alchet. It's a commitment. When a person takes a moment and he seizes that moment, carpe diem, he seizes the day, he seizes the moment, and he controls his life, his eyes, his desires, then Hashem judges him at that point. Forget about the past. He's a tzaddik. That's the takeaway of Rosh Hashanah. Seize the moment. Seize the day. Control that moment and you control your destiny. By looking away and refusing to give in, we secure our future.